Next, we'll go on to Yun Che An, who's a year 12 from Auckland International College. Hello, am I loud enough? Okay. Remember those days when you could still pull through the hot summers without a fan. Remember those days when you couldn't find a single piece of news about melting glaciers and sinking islands. Remember those days when hurricanes, cyclones, tsunamis and floods were inconsequential. We currently live in a world where you face all kinds of threats. Our mother planet, the Earth, is currently suffering from such and such challenges. After a long time of industrial revolution, a mother planet, the Earth, is tolerated, which a big menaces to its existence. As our Earth is getting agonized progressively, it is our share to collectively act instead of holding back. It is our duty as an individual and a society to save the Earth. Now, if you go out to the streets and ask this random person this question, how do you save the Earth? I doubt that not a single person would be able to answer this question. Now, the other way around, if someone randomly comes up to you and asks, do you know how to save the Earth? Can you answer this question? I bet the answer will be no. So here's a way of saving the Earth, over attacking the Earth that is currently un under attack. Now, downsizing. Downsizing in lifestyle. This is living in a simpler way of life and focusing on the things that are only truly necessary and needed. Well, this is really, really hard, especially for a very sentimental person like me. Believe it or not, I can even explain why I need a tiny bobby pin in my life or even a toothpick. I know it is very difficult, but the fundamentals of saving the earth is to reduce the wants and goods that are harming the earth. For example, plastic. I realize the fact that how unfavorable for a planet to bear is all the risky things we do in our daily lives without thinking. And from that moment, when I figured out that I was the one doing the perilous actions harming the earth, I've let myself live a downsized lifestyle and convinced others to live in the way that I am doing right now, like helping out my mom to make detergent powder with baking soda instead of buying a new one that's in a plastic container or a bottle in the market. Going completely downsized makes you realize that you have so much fewer things needed in your life. Your home will be less cluttered and therefore much easier to clean. And you don't have the mentality of, if I don't want this anymore, I'll just throw it out and get a new thing later. No, you only have a few things, so you take better care of the things that you already have. Do you notice something? You're not sending anything to the landfill. It sounds pretty difficult, but I assure you, it's not that hard. The beauty is when it clicks that life is so much better without accessing your life. This is when you crave for more space and less stuff because you know it's holding you back from really enjoying your life. And once this beauty just hits your mind after implementing these in your life, I believe our earth will be in a much pleasant position than it has ever been. Furthermore, the benefits of living this lifestyle far outweighs any of the negatives that you can ever imagine. Now, the average amount of weight of the trash we produce every day is approximately two kgs. Over the course of the year, that's about taking eight and a half of your best friends and throwing them in the trash. Now, don't do that, it's not nice. But these warnings of all the matters, it has been extremely, extremely clear for a long time. We are entering a period of consequences. Our planet is our home and it is our responsibility to save and protect it. No other savior from another planet will come and save us. It is our duty as an individual, a society and a community to save our earth. It's we, who can save it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, fantastic job, Yunchi.